it is right about that time where I get to brighten your day even more. And right now I am sitting on this couch with the organizer of Mpumalanga Amarula, Cap Amarula and Campfire Festival. And it is Mrs. Tole. How are you, ma'am? I'm good, uh, thanks. And how are you? <laughs> I am fine. You didn't even have to tell me you're good. I can tell. <laughs> you're, you're glowing. You're happy. You look amazing. <laughs> Yo, you look amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I, I gotta look amazing because it's been a, a long ride. Yeah. yeah, it's been a long ride, but it's worth it. Yeah, it must have. And actually, when you look at it, organizing such an event is really stressful. So please take me through why Mbumalanga Amarula Camp and Fire Festival. Oh. Well, um, like everyone will know, I am Swazi and culture comes naturally. And in Eswatini there is the annual Amarula Royal Festival. And when I got to Mbombela by the roadside, I found Marula and for me it was a shocker because uh, in, Sw in Eswatini, uh, marula is used mm. then I started engaging the administration you know the government mm. uh, on the opportunities that are presented by this fruit yeah. because all in this one fruit there is a, a cultural aspect there is a knowledge aspect which in this country it is uh, um, with the, science, the Department of Science and Innovation uh -huh. Then there is the environmental aspect because it is regulated how you use trees and how we should keep preserve the trees. And then there is a tourism aspect because like uh, in Eswatini, we, we saw that as it grew, many in, uh, tourists were interested. And so it is a, touris a tourism product. And lastly, there is an economic aspect of it because uh, in this fruit you get beauty products, you get juices now, you get peanuts. So it has got a potential of creating so many jobs. As you can see that Mega has branded here. Mega it is the Mpumalanga Economic uh, uh, Growth Agency. So it's an opportunity for SMMEs, especially because Marula grows naturally. It is indigenous and it's found amongst the poorest of the poor. So even a disabled person, even a child, even a gogo, can collect maganu and benefit either from brewing or down the value chain. Yeah. So, so basically, it is an instant uh, job creator. It is an instant livelihood uh, developer. So, th that's where I am coming from. But um, and here, Mega has got so many factory shells that are lying. So, uh, their other mandate is to develop um, SMEs. So they saw it as an, an opportunity for investment, hence they are uh, a participation here. And the department, National Department of Arts and Culture jumped to it to say, here we go, we want to make culture attractive. Hence the blending of the, the traditional dance and the DJs to say to people as young as you, yes. you uh, when you ask yourself why Marula, you should know that, okay, I will see culture and then I will enjoy myself. Yeah. So we expose you to that, making a culture attractive. <laughs> and we appreciate you so much for that. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So now the big question is, yeah. uh, in Eswatini right now, the yeah. festival is also happening, yeah. also here. Why didn't you guys maybe liaise and do this together? Oh no, we did. The Swaziland yeah. Tourism uh, Authority was here to launch the Eswatini calendar. Yeah. And already we discussed that the dates are going to be staggered to accommodate all of us. So we're going to move to Eswatini, Marula, uh -huh. Mo uh, Mozambique, Marula, okay. and then uh, Mbumalanga, Amarula. Oh. That is why ours is in March. We are respecting the, the founders uh -huh. of, of the Mar Amarula. So we want it to be more away from their dates. At the same time, because Marula is seasonal, we don't want to lose it, you know, so we capture it. So we agreed with the government of Mpumalanga to say every last week of March, we're going to be celebrating the, the, the festival. And I'm sure next year there'll be a factory already. Oh, okay. 
okay, we cannot wait for that. <laughs> so let's bring it to today. What are your expectations as far as the whole festival? Because I understand Ikale Itolo and it's going to span until tomorrow, which is a Sunday. Yeah. What are your expectations for the whole festival? Well, uh, we are expecting the people of Mbumalanga, number one, to, to borrow from the originality of the uh, Swatini dance. And it's more people-to-people -people connection because, as you can see, there is the uh, Mozambican ambassador here. The mayor is on the way. So it also blends well with uh, tripartite agreements, like the Umsebe, you, you know. So we're expecting that the, the government shall pledge their support and um, then people to enjoy themselves and to taste the, the real Amarula because um, we will not lie, the people who brewed this Amarula are from Eswati. Yeah. yeah, because they were teaching people from here how it is done. The you, original way. The original way. And because we are neighbors and there are so many exchange programs, uh -huh. yeah, so they were here teaching them how to do it. viewers we are still at the Mbumalanga Marula Festival Campfire and with me right now I am seated with Mr. Langa the Consul of Mozambique who is situated at the Mbumalanga province. Mr. Langa welcome to Eswatini Lifestyle. Thank you, thank you very much. Yes. yes thank you so much. How are you feeling today sir? No, I feel fine and happy because of this uh, cultural encounter that we will have today so I'm really happy and I'm very grateful to be interviewed by Swaz TV because I, in somehow I grew up in Swaziland from uh, 88 to 93 I was serving at our embassy at Highlands View in Baban so I'm really happy thank you very much well, I just learned that you spent some time in Eswatin. Yeah. <laughs> So let's bring it to today. What are your expectations for today? No, uh, today I expect, as I said, it's a, a cultural encounter uh -huh. between uh, our province of Maputo and uh, the province of Pumalanga. There is a memorandum of understanding that was signed in 2018 for cultural, touristic, agricultural exchange. So today it's an encounter of cultures where we are bringing a cultural group from Mozambique to perform, to enhance the cultural identity between the two, the two countries, yes. So I understand we're talking about enhancing the cultural identity between these two countries, but you are not clad in traditional gear. Why is that? <laughs> You know, I, I really didn't wear that, but at least I wore something <laughs> that represents Mozambique as a, a representative of Mozambique. So there's no problem with that. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Babi. We appreciate that. Do have a splendid and cultural day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, and enjoy the day.
such a splendid day of cultural exchange with me right now. I have the Director of Culture and Tourism from Mozambique and it is none other than Mr. Jemo. Mr. Jemo, welcome to Eswatini Lifestyle. Uh, ela dá as boas-vindas, está a fazer a apresentação sobre a sua pessoa. Yeah, muito obrigado. É, a a oportunidade para agradecer pelo convite, dizer que sentimos bastante lisonjeados por este convite e que o próximo ano nós vamos retribuir o convite. Obrigado. Mr. Jemo says thank you for the invitation. It's, it's a pleasure to be here, the group to be here. And he says that next year they will retribute the invitation. That would be wonderful, would appreciate that. So what does today mean for the cultures, the two cultures from Bumalanga and Mozambique? Uh, ela pergunta qual é o significado deste encontro entre as duas culturas, Bumalanga e Moçambique. Tem um, um significado bastante, diria assim, expressivo, na medida em que uh, nós vamos conhecer melhor a cultura sul-africana, muito em particular, uh, daqui do nosso espírito Mombela, e também vamos trazer aquilo que é a nossa cultura. Só para uh, dar algum exemplo, nós vimos aqui com um grupo de canto e dança que vai apresentar eh, três expressões de dança, dança tradicionalmente moçambicana. Então, uh, tem este valor. É, é por isso que eu dizia na introdução que agradecemos pelo esse convite e para o ano vamos retribuir, porque gostaríamos é que também fossem para Moçambique e ver o nosso festival, pode ser o Guazamtin, e lá também possam ver aquilo que nós temos de tradição como moçambicanos e como província de Maputo em particular. He says that it is very special to be here so that the two cultures can exchange experiences. They can know more about the culture, culture of Pumalanga and you also know more about our culture. And he says that uh, again, he hopes that next year you can go to Mozambique and meet more about the culture. <laughs> and they bring here a group of singing and dancing, a dancing uh, group and they will show you their speciality in dancing. So you will see when they act. This is the do Canyon, which is also our tradition. And with this retribution to invite the group of South Africans to come, we will concede the same time of the Canyon. So we are very enthusiastic para ver efetivamente o festival deles, como é que acontece. Porque é tudo em volta do canhão e nós também vamos convidar a eles em volta do canhão na época do canhão em fevereiro. E também vão ver o que é que nós organizamos do ponto de vista daquilo que é o festival que acontece em Moçambique e em Maputo, muito em particular. Uh, he says that he is very excited about coinciding the canhão, you know, you, Marula season here. Uh, they will see how you enjoy this season and they will show also how we enjoy the Marula season. It, co it coincides with the uh, Wazamutini festival in February. So next year he hopes that they arrange the festival and you go there to see the differences <laughs> or the similarities between the two cultures in Marula festival. Yeah. So what is the importance of having a, a strong cultural connection with these different cultures? Okay. Qual é a importância de ter essa conexão cultural forte entre de ter a conexão cultural entre eh, África do Sul e Moçambique? É, é a aproximação dos povos. É, somos povos de países diferentes, mas que as tradições são quase que semelhares. É, temos o, o exemplo, por exemplo, do do do, do do, do, do povo de Gaza que tem a língua e cultura muito semelhante à África do Sul. Então, é, é, esses encontros de troca de experiências são bons porque, é, em parte, é mesmo para, é mesmo para consolidar a, a, as relações de amizade existentes entre os dois povos e também é, as tradições que são quase que semelhantes enquanto países vizinhos. He says that the most important thing here is to consolidate the cultures. We have similar cultures, similar customs, and this festival coincides, uh, exists between the two cultures. And for example, in Gaza, we speak the same Shangana uh, as South Africa. So here we are to 
I don't know, to attach the, the, the two cultures. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Mr. Gemmo, thank you so much for your time. Have a splendid day. Thank you. Agradeço mais uma vez e desejo-nos um ótimo dia aqui no festival. Ah, muitíssimo obrigado. É, nós também agradecemos e estamos com muita expectativa de ver o que é que efetivamente será o festival de Marula de Bombela. Obrigado. Yeah. He says thank you and he is betting to see what is going to be the Mbombela Festival, the Marula Mbombela Festival. <laughs> who's the undersecretary of the sports, culture and youth affairs ministry in Eswatini. Magem Nisi, welcome to Eswatini Lifestyle. San Fosela, Pagangwan and Chani, Mpumalang. Eskangeni. Tia Bonga, Magen Bengwa Ying, Mpumalang. Sitem Kosinu Makan, Mpumalang, Lapokona, Si Bidwebo Zagwetu, E Departments of Culture, Mpumalang, Province, Lekelegutsa, Sitestobasing, and Sem Kosinu Makan Wabo. Negubuga Gutsi, Si Lushang Otsi, Let de Masigo, Sifanele Gutas Doba Segel, and Joba Bebetil and Abok Doba Segel, Neg Doba Gunisa Futsi, Emma Siguen, in a Segwendeni. Lomse <laughs> Historically, Gune Masa Dila Lampu Malanga. Siawa Kutata Logutsa Kubege, Nemi Kosiletsi, Telebeba Vele Baye, Ndabo Koko Mkulu Babo, Guseti Minga Lele Chube Mave. So, Siawa Kutsi Vele Lo Mkosu Epkano, Ungu Mkosi Lo Komba Gutsi Sesgyazli Wasilo Sesko, Na Njongo Ba Asuge La Makano, Le Dingano Sedi Wile, Komba Gutsi Sekvo Tiwe Gula Lo Kutsi Tegwe Titelo. So na gubo ge gwendega nge skasile sifana na gonjo ngo ba iwe da yetfu. I ingle yule kishi fana ane na kshisa gea shisa vele so ayavod. Kotwa ge nge gubo ga guti se suwe ngri sile lo mkulu gatu wa se pleni. Na bo se baya vela ge se baya kubega na o se se achiga futi se kubege shane se zvala lo mse bendo ba se kala psig. Esi achabula ga kulu guti ba se wabambile masigo ba kubega baba maswati no mabanga las kwa shande baya dati guti wo. Katina Svan na labanye le spila na bola es kwa shande got fast nge maswa ati nge nye yetfi se swa tin. Yes. Yeba mage lom gu santa kala lom tembe nge nye nje yin log expecti le ma expectations ako ez le lang al tau kubek. Si pege guti si pe pe son ke si chabu le si shangani se dinkulu mo si funzi sane guti nge dinga nu si nge ndani. Logum seven to eight anta, sing and dema futsa, sing and that in sipo, sing and double jamu, sing and da futsi, jongoba, emma futsek pegas and yungile, sing and dan jongobagna bo coconut oil, nasis tenes nebuka no oil is corner, goods is peeling or bagnet, it's a golet in sega kulo, gulo gulalo, gupuma gule, gulengano, a lel fruit, ukanza gutsi, banfubaba, bachleba pinze, bachlagashe, nenteng or futsi say yes, I went that in for city, or bapella, dinganus di butat in general tongues. Bomaga and get a cat's leg, a good tea, the boot for Bomagan, the Bampana, the Bafana, the Mamma, Madame Banga, the Bota, but the thing is the La Pogna Vulema factory corner, but Gasha Futsi Ban, Funja Bonke La Basha, Senega Kuluga, the General Digole Densha, and Massigo, the Demilalos Kutata logo, good tea, Banfu, Abafuns and M. Seven, the Danza Banga, Bing La Bamele, Bangongo Shalexen, but Gasha Belum, the Basuing and Mahovis, God was its Abende Loguni La Banga, Gwenda was in Pili Quebec.
Lifestyle traveled all the way to Mbembela and we are proud to bring to you blinged up traditional gear. Nyalo nyalo ngimena magezetu lota stkazela ngabandika lo. Magezetu how are you? Nya pila ninjani. Sia pila nat nyeva kutu buye swatini wasba legelelan. Nyeva? Nyeva kutu buye swatini wasba legelelan. Angba lega nganga nga hamba nge kufunza nga besa se nyeza ya South Africa. Angba lega nge swatini kse kai. Ngati kwenye kubal soate actually. Okay, siya bonga. Bengta la guti ustaze lega bandi nge mvu nulo cultural affair. Mvu nulo cultural affair is based in Nesprate. Si sebendela at the rest nature estate. But then we try to modernize it so that we can move with the times. Since so that we can attract international market. Hey, si atabula kufa loko. Ya ti mvunulo yi nye ndi bandi. Na ukuluma ngeguti mvunulo nyayi. Mklambe ne machobo na wanyawenda. No me ngipile mvunulo specifically le nyenda. Ok, mvunulo si nyenda yonke. From Envombini, Mbali. Because in all South Africa, it's cool. Band by hands are in vulnerable. Band hands are not sweat. But go back a cool look. Is it comfortable on the skin? So we try to make it comfortable. So we go to the lama job. We put some cotton inside it. Naga kogi le ba be eve lo go to right. And then we try to adjust it. It's not fast. It's not fine. We send it like a elastic because some of them are back cool. We fire gas. Now let's talk about it. For send it go to la tulu. See when elastic. So that maga naga kogi like they go to a repair all 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 around. Kubega she akwenye kuti achaste la ngoma bantu ba la na njenga kuhul zikati kuhutele zikati kutoa lenvu nulo ba kikele tele lamtim ben so senda le kuti kubela lula kiboge. Asa sisi ni alonge na mumflo bugela kikaya uye fa kuti na na lenvu nulo lenzo le kati tela kulingfani le mina sanya iphone ukufola njani mepi ba social media ba Facebook ba Instagram iko na inle page la la cultural affairs. Yebo si atola gala ku social media. I kamele page le fuku Instagram is imvunulo cultural affair. Ku Facebook imvunulo affair. So neti number la siatu la gala si sebendi sa cell phone number let's zero seven one zero eight six five three nine one ang pinze ba bugel zero seven one zero eight six five three nine one. So gel customer le send la mepe WhatsApp message and then pesa spa fagala le quotation. Jenga nyalo si ati kwenye siti imvunulo cultural affair ishangani sa four years in business sa kala Kalau logo sebiji seperti ini, emak kanwin sabo nabo mager baba. Jadi saya sen, sebenarnya aku kira South Africa logo saya kalah gele business. So this year ngah match bestangan sa four years in business. Okay, congratulations, siapa bunga laga kulu and thank you so much for your time. Ah, siapa bunga laga kulu, siapa bunga baba bugele makaya, siapa syukuti, siapa next next week sorry eshane, siapa emak kanwin, siapa bunga logo sin figi le ni ni suatu TV, ni ta emak kanwin angalana, empomalanga embombel. Masatla Masesa Sfigile, Sabona, Mbumalanga, Amarula Camp and Fire Festival. It was a beautiful banging day. Sboni le tango le flagangwani. Lili ishe sa di Kenya natin jenge maswa di guti. Ao maeba as represent Mbumalanga. Beautiful people, this is the Eswati lifestyle, and of course, njenga logo bengenga show all you on today. We are at the Mbumalanga Amarula Camp and Fire Festival, where we had an absolutely amazing time. We took it from Friday, unfortunately, Berlina on Friday, so you know, limited footage. But yesterday, it was a Saturday, we had fun, we saw the traditional parts I mean, traditional aspects of everything. Everything was beautiful and nice today. Is a Sunday your girl is looking amazing because it's chilled vibes everyone is beautiful
people, we are still very much at the Mbumalanga Amarula Camp and Fire Festival. Njenganyalo, I am with your favorite local artist, and it is none other than Butsens. Butsens Njan. Nyapila Gunja. Nyapila Namiatu, Ukalang Kotalang, Jalagutu, yes, Saba, your stage, Jundalan Nazi. For how long have you been performing Jagutu Nasjatu, yes, Saba? See what's in your Saba. Stage. <laughs> yeah. So, at least in Yeah, that's good. That's good. Then, how are you feeling? Apart from being nervous, how are you feeling about your performance? I'm looking forward to it, and I'm actually excited to be here. Bumalanga, Velek Fanansi, what's at Sebet? No bam song, Bengazi, Bumnagate, no babumzala. You know, we are we are family. And I really appreciate the fact that they always actually acknowledge us and support us as well as artists from Swaziland. So let's bring it to the main concept, the Amarula concept. How are you feeling about that? Baba Ushili Amarula Kaya, Wetangala, Wato Celebrator, Never Sembumalang. Well, I think it's a good concept. If it's cultural, I mean, it's important that we keep our culture and pass it to the next generations. But uh, why are you to emphasize what's happening? No, I just wanted to make sure that everyone knows. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Wishing you the best as a Sayago performer. Thank you so much. lifestyle viewers if you know me pretty well you know I'm always bringing fresh things for you all the time and with me right now I have a young and upcoming female artist from Bumalanga and it is Wendy Ashante Wendy how are you I'm doing well thanks and you I am fine how are you about to perform right now how are you feeling about that very nervous <laughs> ah, Kelly. why because I was watching you yesterday you performed and you were awesome so no. why are you nervous today it was dark and ah. like <laughs> I like I feel like there's too much people now in Fraser ish like uh -huh. Sands is here in the big band so Hey you're opening for Sands. How is that? Let's talk about that. Ish Connor, it's it's a bit exciting but uh -huh. I don't know how he's gonna react because uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. I'm a bit nervous. Don't worry girl, he'll love you, he'll love you, he'll love you. So now let's talk about Wendy Ashanti's projects. Uh what's in the line? What's in store for us? Well, um, currently uh, I won't, I'm not doing anything, but I'm planning on learning how to play guitar because uh -huh. like, I'm currently enrolled at UMP, so yeah, school work. Where 